Hello everyone, Beat here and welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabrics Season 1. Today we are looking at rayon. Rayon was manufactured to be a replacement for silk. And you might think this is very similar to the viscose episode and you are completely correct. Viscose and rayon is sometimes used interchangeably but they are not completely the same. Rayon definitely has a more silky, smooth finish, almost shiny finish, where viscose can have different types of textures and finishes as you've seen in the episode. So if you think about rayon, you should think about a silk alternative and not really a cotton alternative. The difference between rayon and viscose is that rayon is made by using purified cellulose. Therefore, we have a finer, almost shinier fabric coming from the fibers in comparison to viscose. Rayon is produced and manufactured very similarly to viscose. So again, we have trees. Trees are being cut down. We have wood chips or pieces of wood that is turned into a cellulose. Cellulose is a wood pulp. This compound then gets pushed through a device, also known as a spinneret that we've seen in other episodes. And these thin fibers get formed from the spinnerets, which are then treated with chemicals. So the source is natural, but it goes through a chemical process. Therefore, rayon is also a semi-synthetic fabric. You often see rayon blended with cotton for bed sheets to give that smooth Egyptian cotton look. Again, you're not buying Egyptian cotton, you are buying rayon, and rayon is giving it that smooth, silky feeling and look, which will make it seem like Egyptian cotton, but once you sleep in it, you will notice that it is not Egyptian cotton. Rayon is also blended with wool, especially in carpets. I don't own any rayon items, but I will pop up some pictures again and show you what um, the fabric looks like when it is actually blended in with clothing and if something is made from it. I'm going on to Urban Outfitters website and just browsing through. Here's a blue dress and I'm just going to scroll down and see. Okay, yes, there it is, rayon. Um, so you can see 70%, 72% of this dress is made out of rayon and you can see it definitely does have a silky, smooth, almost shiny finish to it. And on and other stories, it is so great. You can actually filter by material, which I really love. And I clicked satin because a lot of the time viscose and rayon is being marketed under satin. I'm just going to click on this shiny skirt. And over here, it says viscose. But I did mention that viscose and rayon sometimes get um, gets used interchangeably. And this is a good example of it. I'm pretty sure this is actually rayon and not viscose, but they also can just call it viscose. Let's look at the general pros. It is a very soft fabric, and it should be because it was supposed to imitate silk. It is inexpensive, it is absorbent, anti-static, it has a very good drape, so think about evening dresses or something um, similar to that. General cons. It is not very durable due to the fact that the fibers are shorter, say in comparison to something such as cotton, which is a quite durable fabric. It tends to pull, which is unfortunate. It does wrinkle, so it does need a good steam. Um, it can misshapen over time, so basically when a fabric almost looks pulled, sometimes you'll see that a shirt looks longer on one side than the other. It could be just because it's made poorly, but it also could be that the fabric um, almost dropped down um, in some area of the fabric, and the fabric can shrink. Environmental pros, unfortunately we don't have any environmental cons it does contribute to deforestation due to the fact that trees are needed in the process of making rayon uh, toxic chemicals are used in the process of turning the wood chips into the wood pulp which is also called cellulose and again 
the process continues with more chemicals. There is a lot of water um, used in the production of rayon. Think about the trees that also need water to grow and then the whole process of turning the wood chips into a fiber. Um, there's lots of water involved and because of the use of toxic chemicals, water does get polluted. So it's water waste as well as polluting the water. And it is an extremely energy intensive process. That is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. I hope that you have a lovely day. Thank you everyone. Cheers.